Hello everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I'm bringing you another Thoughts video. So today we got two more new pictures of the Summer 2019 LEGO Harry Potter sets. We'll be taking a look at both of those within this video. As of this time, I don't really have like a official like release date for any of these sets. Even the ones that I was talking about before, which I thought were coming out in June, but that's probably not in the US, which is a little annoying and disappointing at the same time. I just wish that LEGO could actually just give us like release dates for like and just give them to everybody at the same time. I just gotta I gotta do something about that. I gotta do a post and whatnot. But that is for a different video or different whatever. So in my last thoughts video I looked at five of the other sets that are going to be releasing alongside these two that just got announced today. I was supposed to be doing a Lego Hidden Side thoughts video before this but I guess I just pushed that to the side since I'm working on a lot of different things but I'll get into that at the end of the video if you want a quick update on how I'm doing and why I'm not really posting a lot lately. So yeah, that's pretty much all for just my little opening statement right there. So let's get right into looking at these two sets. Should be nice and quick and easy. The first set that we have is set number 75958, which is the Bobaton's Carriage Arrival at Hogwarts. This set will include 430 pieces, minifigures of Rubius Hagrid, which this is actually really cool, really love how he looks. He's actually inside his Yule Ball outfit, which will work perfectly with that Hogwarts Clock Tower set that we're also getting, so I'm just really excited that they included that. And then we also get Madame Maxime, which is inside her sort of like normal outfit right there. We also get Fleur Delacour and also her little sister Gabrielle, which I think it's really cool that we get that like this specific set honestly i would have rather to see something like maybe like a Durmstrang ship or something like that since we haven't gotten a set with karkaroff in it yet which is something that i would have liked to like see as a goblet of fire set but you know this is just very interesting because it both combines both the movies and the books since you can see that there are play features that you can open up the carriage that we get within the set and then inside the carriage there's like multiple like levels that like you know since it is bigger within the inside of the carriage that's why like it's sort of like that it's sort of like representing both the books and the films by like the way that it looks in the film and then inside it is more like how the book describes what the carriage is like I just really like how we get that. We also get two of those Palomino horses right there with the wings, pretty cool and white. Really love how we get those in here, which it's also very nice that they use those wings on them as well. Otherwise, really the main attraction of the set is the Hagrid just to go along with the other Yule Ball characters. And then the Fleur de la Cour minifigure I think is just amazing. It's probably the best one that they've made out of all of the other sets because of like the hair and hat combo that's included since that like it definitely fits the character a lot nicer than just the normal like ponytail hair that they've given her inside the other sets. So I mean that's one reason why I really like it since I do really like that version of Fleur. And also you get some other characters that you know we've never really gotten in LEGO which is like Gabrielle which is Fleur's sister and then we get Madame Maxime which is the cheapest way to get her unless you want to get the bigger set. Also one thing to note is that this set will retail for $49.99 in the US. Though this is the second carriage build that we're getting for both Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts in like a year. You know it's very nice. I really like how it's like a different design and also it's just something that they've never done Done before. Looking at the other set that was revealed today, we have set number 75965, which is the Rise of Voldemort. This will include 184 pieces, minifigures of Harry Potter, Lord Voldemort, Peter Pettigrew, and a Death Eater. It is also said that we're going to be getting a baby Voldemort within the set, but that is not pictured in there currently, so I don't really know too much about that. I wonder if they're going to use like the baby piece for that. I think it'd be very interesting. Looking at all the minifigures individually, I really love Harry Potter's outfit. I just think that they did a wonderful job just representing that character. It'll go very nice with the Cedric Diggory that we got in the collectible minifigures last year, which that's one thing that I'm going to really love. Would have actually liked to see Cedric within the set, but you know, it's okay like just for like the minifigures included. Lord Voldemort is pretty nice, really like how he turned out. We also get the Death Eater, which is just an interesting overall like decision for a character. I guess it's interesting for like army building sort of, I guess. I don't really know. But you know, I would have actually liked to see like maybe like Lucius Malfoy inside the set. That would have been a really nice inclusion. Peter Pettigrew, 
I think that they got his face perfect. I really like how they did that. His outfit is okay, but you know, the hairpiece is really what screws the minifigure over right there, since I don't really think that the hairpiece really fits his character. I think that they could have done with like getting rid of some of that hair as well for his character, but you know, overall, just a very nice minifigure selection for this set. I would have actually preferred if they maybe like increased the price and made this a little bit bigger though you know it's it's just a it's an amazing deal for twenty dollars you get 184 pieces and four minifigures who are like primarily exclusive to the set five if you count the statue that's over there for the tom riddles like tomb right there which i think it's really nice that they also included that you also get another little sides tombstone right there with the deathly hollow symbol on it which i think that's really cool and creative as well and then, like, I think there might be, like, a play feature where, like, you're fighting each other, both Voldemort and Harry, which, it's just very nice. It looks like a very nice display piece, in my opinion. I'll definitely be picking this up day one. Really cool looking set. But like I said before, I think that they could have made this a little bit bigger and maybe add some more minifigures. That would have made it even more appealing than it currently is. One last thing about this set that I just forgot to mention is that we do actually get a brick built wizard cup right there which compared to the one that we get with our Cedric minifigure inside the CMF line I mean yeah it's, I, I, I don't really know why they had to do that but you know it's okay I guess it's just it's better that they're putting more of their money into the minifigures compared to like accessories and other stuff like that which you know it's good that they're doing that but really that's all my thoughts for those two sets I really love all of the new sets that Lego has made for the Harry Potter line so far this year we're getting seven different sets coming out in either June or August and then in September we're going to be getting the advent calendar which that'll be something really cool to look forward to as well but as far as Harry Potter goes I think these are all of the sets that we're going to be getting for this year minus some poly bags if like Lego decides to toss those at us or any promotions towards like September when we get our advent calendar but we still don't really know too much about that since Lego's pretty much been very unpredictable when it comes to like promotions lately but overall, I think it's a very nice lineup. It's very expensive, the lineup. A lot of different very varied priced sets right there. And of course, I will be trying my best to get all of them as soon as possible so then I can bring you guys the reviews. If any of you guys have seen any of the UPC numbers or the DPCIs or the SKUs for the Harry Potter 2019 wave sets, you guys can comment those down in the comment section below. I am looking for those numbers. I actually have the European barcode numbers for all of the sets, but I actually need the US ones because that's where I live and I want to start looking for these as soon as I possibly can with their release approaching. So yeah, that pretty much sums up everything that I wanted to say within this video. A quick little update about what's going on right here. So I've been working on my stop motion animation for like a long time say like three weeks as of this time it's going very well I think that I'm going to be releasing it next week which means that I don't know if I'm gonna have too much like normal like regular review content or whatnot I know that I'm definitely gonna have my thoughts video next week with the reveal of the new Lego stranger things set which I think that looks really cool but we'll get more into that inside that video I don't know if I'm going to be releasing my Lego Hidden Side Thoughts video. If you want to see that, you can tell me in the comments section below, and I might post it, I don't know. We'll see if I have time to edit that anytime soon. Also, otherwise, one thing that I did mention within that video is that we are actually going to be getting a 2020 theme for DreamWorks Trolls. That's just another little thing that popped up within this near future of news and whatnot. So you guys can also check out my Lego 2020 leak site, which I will be updating that when I actually get more information. We currently only have information for Star Wars, and then of course we know that we're gonna be getting sets for Ninjago, and then we're gonna be getting stuff for the Trolls theme. Otherwise, lots and lots of stuff to do as we move forward into the future. Hopefully LEGO decides to give me a new shop catalog sometime in the near future so then I can look at some of the newer sets that I haven't actually got to like buy or look at inside most of my videos. Otherwise, I'm just rambling on at this point, so yeah, remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!